so this is the quick overview of of the power label functionality and how this generic solution could uh, could really um, offer opportunity for you to label pretty much anything in your in your documentation so what we look what we're looking at first is uh it's is this a, a data filtering system so the the first thing is uh you label an element, so you can see the little icon next to the the power level logo. So it knows that you've labeled a slab. Uh, so that will shift based on any of the elements that uh, Archicad elements. Um, after that, we've we've uh, categorized the data into certain um, uh, data categories or data source categories, uh, and that's just to ensure that we don't have this this massively long list of of uh, parameters or properties that are available. So you can add up to three uh, different data sources into your uh, into one label. Um, we, we've got the IFC um, uh, API that's plugged into this, and so you can you can access any of your your um, properties and IFC information. You can add custom data, attribute data, which is probably the most important. Uh, from a connection point of view, and then all your dimensional data. So the bottom level of slab, top level of slab. So bottom level of slab is pretty um, pretty important if you're labeling a, um, a, a ceiling. Uh, and then there's a whole bunch of uh, additional functionality that we can, and that we can punch in from there. Okay, so if we just put those in, there's uh, so that's the, that's the data side of it. So you see the attribute data. We haven't selected uh, the the actual data selection. So you can see that uh, this uh, this composite standard uh, Archicad composite has uh, has got a, a code. So that will be a cross reference to a an Excel spreadsheet or possibly a, a property. Um, and inside of that, we're able to split that data. And uh, only show the, the the code, so we're not looking at the the descriptor. Uh, so that's it in there, and you can see how how that's shifted. So let's just change the structural function. Oh, actually, let's just remove that one. I don't think we need that um, for now. So I'll just say none. It should shift itself up, which is good. Um, Okay, so you have um, inside the the, the data um, source, we, we have some standard prefixes, or you can put in a custom, so we can have a, um, a ceiling reference, so you can pop that in. The shape will grow. We are able to edit the shapes. Uh, there's a, a couple of customs, so it has no frame, or it has a circle, um, the rectangle, or the arrow, which will show you on a wall shortly. Uh, and then there's a couple of other uh, settings which we'll get into now. So um, pretty exciting stuff in terms of of, uh, of a one-to-many concept where you are controlling uh, uh, cross-references uh, or, or specification cross-references through your attributes, and the label is is really uh, helping you filter that information. So if we label the wall, so I'll just go in, make sure we've got the correct. So we've got the power label. We just uh, change the label, label orientation. We just make sure it's perpendicular to the wall. And we're just going to go fetch some the composite name in this case. So uh, we tap into all the standard Archicad functionality. So let's uh, let's put a frame around that. Let's change the, obviously, the, the pens will, will tap into your standard um, label settings or your pen settings. Um, I'm going to, yeah, so we don't have a prefix, so let's pop that in there. And what we're going to want on this wall is we're probably going to want this as a an arrow. So we pop pop that arrow, um, and we just need to change a little parametric uh, setting in here. Yeah. So let's just make the, the feature extension, which will put a little arrow in there. Uh, so obviously you can say favorites uh, with this, and you can... Um, you can really just um, change the, the the shape of these of these these forms as you go along. So let's just let's just put a um, a code into this. So we'll just rename 
So let's just say wall type zero one, and we'll we'll put a dash in. We'll pop into that label. We'll just make sure that the splitter is on. Click on those two dots, turn the splitter on, and that should okay, sort that out. So what it, what what's pretty cool about this? If we want to label, um, say the other side of the wall, we can just tap on our text alignment. Okay, so that will that will push it across because our alignment is uh, set to perpendicular. It will move with the wall, and if we want a double-sided arrow, we, we just click on the justification at center, and it will and it will push it through. So those are two elements. Uh, you can you can label the data has been filtered based on every AutoCAD uh, element, so um, from curtain walls, uh, beams, um, uh, even objects where you can you can put a custom parameter name down, and it'll be able to extract data out of that custom object. So our, our vision and goal for, for this tool is, is uh, to make it available to all ARCHICAD users and then obviously work with specific firms to add additional data or specific uh, expressions into the label that, um, that you're able to, to get um, a, a couple of variables that aren't ARCHICAD globals uh, out of the elements and uh, onto your, your documentation. Okay, we look forward to working with you. Uh, give us a call uh, or, or send us an email and we'll be happy to talk you through the possibilities. Uh, we hope that you'll purchase the standard option and then we can work with it from there.